Lomo. Hello, Lomo. Oh, Lomo's woken up. She does that sometimes. Hello, Lomo. Anyway, this is Colin at uh, Today's Tea. And today, see, I have a mystery tea. Yes. I was sorting through my things, my uh, spice rack things, and I discovered a small jar which did not have spices in it. It actually had tea. So the question is, what kind of tea? So I, I sniffed it. Yeah, gave it a good sniff. And uh, at first I thought it had a, it was obviously an Earl Grey of some kind, had a strong citrus flavor smell to it. And so immediately I thought, well, this must be some leftover Russian Earl Grey. But um, and then I um, opened it up and I looked closely and I saw, oh, bye Lomo. I saw it had uh, blue, blue uh, corn flour. And it made me think, of course, of Bayswater, because they seem to use a lot of uh, corn flour in their teas. So I looked it up, and what I think it is now is what they call Earl Grey Floral Twist, which is basically an Earl Grey where you sort of dump in all the bits from the garden. So it has uh, jasmine. Uh, well, besides you know, black tea and bergamot oil, it has jasmine blue corn flour, um, orange peel, and lemongrass. So it's quite, uh, it's a very, well it's florals, but it's very um, citrusy flavor. It's, it's not all, it's not all flowers, but it's, it's, it's quite nice. I might pick up some more at another time, but uh, it's 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 getting to that point you know, like I've, I've said before I don't like teas that are overly complicated and it's just getting to the point where it's becoming just just too much but I, I think this this is all right this, this is actually quite a nice tea it's what I think of as sort of a, a candy tea full of flavor of various kinds but you know it's a nice copper nonetheless Anywho, um, cheers. Just gotta switch this camera on.